in this series of videos, we've been building towards a Brick Breaker Lite app. Okay, and in this video, we're going to talk about changing some of the procedures we've made into more generic procedures. Okay, so procedures allow us to declare these basic procedures that either return a result or just do a, a bunch of blocks. And we've set up procedures to return all the corners of our player bar or our paddle. And we've also set up procedures to return the X and Y values for our fudge, our inner rectangle to help us with collision. Okay, so what we're going to do is go through and add a parameter to these procedures. So if we click the little blue, we actually get an input and we can name it sprite. And so when we're performing these procedures, we now want to pass a sprite and that sprite will then be used to figure out what the bottom corner or the fudge vector Right, so we go through each of these and change them to use generic blocks. And like we said, our generic blocks are in the bottom of our blocks. And we can go to any image sprite and we want to get the Y. So we grab that image sprite Y of component and we stick the get sprite from our procedure. And we're going to go through and change several of these, or all of them, right? So in some of them we use x and width, in others we use y and height, right? But instead of saying specifically the player's paddle or the name, right, player bar sprite, we are going to use our generic and use the parameter that is set, okay? So that is how we're going to update each of these. So rather than you watching me do all of them, we're going to go through, we've explained what to do with each of them, right? And we're just updating them to be generic and go through and update each of these procedures that we've previously written to be generic, right? They all take a sprite, okay? So I've gone through and updated them all already, right? They all use generics now, and you should do the same, right? This allows us to call them in wherever we're calling our procedure and pass a sprite and then return values for that sprite. Right? So if we pass the paddle to bar top left, it will get us the y value of the paddle. Okay, But if we t pass brick 1 to bar top left, it will now get us the y value of brick 1. So this allows us to use all the procedures that we previously wrote for one sprite, the paddle or the player bar, for all the sprites that are rectangles. 